Chambers has said this, the joy of anything from a blade of grass upwards is to fulfill its created purpose. Do you know that you have a created purpose? Have you been in touch with that? Have you been guided as to the direction to fulfill your created purpose? Well, if you have not, you can be. And I'm going to share ways that you can do that today. You can expect a satisfying and a fulfilling existence in life. You can expect it. And how? When you follow God's plan for your life. But then the big question is, how? How do you discern God's will for your life? Well, here's the way that I do it. You begin by studying the Bible. And here's what I found. It's not so much the words in the page or a certain paragraph that will guide you, although sometimes the exact words do. More often, it is being in that spiritual atmosphere that puts you in touch with God. When you read the Bible, you have a special feeling come over you. And that feeling opens up your mind, your senses, and your abilities to receive from God and God's mind the wisdom from above. And you will. Also, watch carefully for the signposts that God places along your path. There will be signposts. There will be people that say certain things to you. They don't know why they say it. They're just saying it, and it will guide you. You'll, you'll know that you know. And being in a place where you know that you know is a good place to be. It is a place where you walk ahead on your path with an assured feeling that you are in touch with God. You also listen carefully. You listen carefully, not for outer voices so much, but for that inner, still small voice of God that speaks to you in the quiet moments of your daily devotional time and even throughout the day. God wants to use you in wonderful ways, and God will if you let God. But the decision to seek and follow God's plan is yours and yours alone because you have free will. Today, I ask you to choose to follow God's plan. And then when you look forward, you can look forward with great anticipation of receiving all the wonderful promises that come with a life that is lived for God. In Psalms 33, verse 11, it says, The counsel of the Lord stands forever. The plans of God's heart from generation to generation. And that means that God's plans for you are always the same. Always good. Always rewarding. Always for your best. And for those that you love. God bless you.